What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Billy, back with another video. And today, I'm taking y'all on the truck with me. So this is strictly a trucking vlog, especially for the people who's always asking me about what my experience is like on the road and how is it for females. So hopefully, y'all get a feel for that. I'm actually on the way to work right now. I'm going to be leaving Atlanta, going to Nashville. Yeah, Billy. Low-key can't remember where I parked my truck at. I'm walking to try to find my truck now. Uh, I found my truck. I'm about to get my day started. I got here kind of early today because this is my first day back after a month. Like, my first official day. I um took the truck to the shop last Thursday, but this is my official day back on the road. So, I'm kind of nervous trying to get back into the groove of things. This is not a how-to video or educational video, but I will be telling y'all some of the steps that I'm doing. Like when I first get to my truck, I always make sure I do my pre-trip inspection because I don't want nothing breaking down on me or if I could prevent something from happening, then this is the time to do so. And then I don't want no fines from DLT, period. <laughs> okay? So this is what I mean by doing pre-trip inspection. Like walk around, check my tires. I didn't check under my hood. Make sure ain't that wrong. Now that I'm done with my pre-trip, I'm about to go pick up my paperwork from the office and then go pick up my trailer. Okay, well, I'm gonna need him right here to move his truck because I can't go nowhere. Just left out of the office. Forget my, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I found my trailer looking for a 181075 right there. Most of the time when I back into a trailer, I make sure I get out and check first because I don't want to tilt my truck. So that's what I'm finna do. And this is exactly why I get out and check because clearly this trailer is too high for me to back under. So if I back under it, then I'ma run into the back of my truck, which ain't gonna be good. Got my airlines connected. I don't see no cracks on the front. Check up under here. Make sure everything in order. Come back here, check that kingpin, that kingpin lock. All right, make sure my floor, ain't no holes in the floor or nothing. 100%, who the fuck? See, see, I don't know why I want to be, why you want to be ignorant? Now you, I done put you right on this damn vlog. My God, Twan, play too much. Come up on under here, make sure my airline off the ground. Make sure this lock, my tires cool, which they usually don't be. So I'ma check this and come back in a few. Now this right here, this be the workout right here. Luckily I'm not that heavy today, so it's not gonna take much for me to lift my landing gear. But yeah, this be the workout. <laughs> Now that I done did my pre-trip and I verified that all the information is right, like my seal numbers and stuff, I can go ahead and put in my information into the computer and then head over to the weigh station. I'm at the scale, about to weigh my truck. Now that I know I'm not overweight, I can finally get out of here and get on the road. I done went through the guard shack, now I'm pulling out. I would say the hardest part of driving has to be avoiding cars. That's the main problem. Like cars don't realize that we can't stop on a dime. <laughs> I just made a stop because I'm about halfway through my trip. This isn't one of my fuel stops, but I'm hungry and I have to use the restroom. So that's that. I'll stop for fuel on the way back. These people are really sitting here taking their breaks at the fuel line. Back on the road again. I have like an hour and a half left of driving. I made it to my final destination. As y'all can see, it's raining. I already opened my trailer doors. Now I gotta back into the dock. I'm in the door. I'm the first truck here. Now let's see how long it takes them to unload me. While I wait on them to unload me, I decided to come inside of Costco. This is where I deliver and get me something to eat while I wait. It's funny because I deliver here and don't have a membership. I went and got me some pizza. I was gonna eat in the inside, but I'm gonna go back to my truck. Too many people. I'm in my bunk, chilling, still waiting to be unloaded. 
I done been here for what, two and a half hours? I'm just trying to be patient because I still got two more days to work this week and ain't no need to be upset. And it's hump day. Hump, 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 hump day. After over three hours and some change, I'm finally done getting unloaded. They brought me my paperwork. I'm ready to head out. I'm about to get out, close my trailer doors, do my empty call, and head on to the truck stop and make it back to Atlanta. Back in the rain to move my chalk. Then I'm gonna pull out and close my doors. I'm at the truck stop now, fueling up. I really didn't want to stop tonight, but I don't want to have to stop tomorrow. So that's why I just went ahead and stop. Hopefully they hurry up and move because I'm really almost out of hours. They spent so much time unloading me that my 14 hour clock caught up with my drive time. So I'm gonna see if I can push it back to the eight. Fueling. Y'all yeah, see I had to cross the line because somebody was just sitting in front of me and I'm like, girl, move your ass out the way. I made it back. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm finna open my trailer doors. We have to do that before we go in. I'm about to park this mug and go home. I done pulled in my parking spot for the night. I'm about to drop this trailer and take it to the house, period. Today has been a very long day. It's still raining. I'm about to go home, take me a shower, probably take a nap, because I got to get up early in the morning and go to a doctor's appointment. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Most people, they come with me because they think it's exciting, and then they come, and they're like, oh, that's all you do? Yeah, girl. It's the same thing every day. I just got used to it. It probably would be more exciting if I was like cross country, but I just go to the same store every day. So it's, it's nothing exciting about that. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Talk to y'all later.